Good morning, students. Today, class four, contact time chapter. So, yesterday class continuation. So, today we solve some more problems. The first one is, if alpha, comma, beta are complementary angles such that b sin alpha is equal to a, then find the value of sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta. Okay, so. We can solve this problem now. Here given, so given that alpha, comma, beta are complementary angles. What is the meaning of complementary angles? The sum of two angles is equal to 90 degrees. Then the type of angles are called complementary angles. So that's why here given that the sum of alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, since these are complementary angles. Next, here given that the second concept is B sin alpha is equal to A. Now, I am begging B sin alpha is equal to A. Okay. From this one, shall I write sin alpha is equal to A by B? Is it right? So that's why sin alpha value is equal to A by B. Okay. Next, from this one, alpha is equal to you know, by 90 minus taking this plus beta into R to side minus beta. Applying on both sides sin alpha. So next, applying sin alpha on sin on both sides. Then it is becomes sin alpha is equals to so sin of 90 minus beta. So according to all sin verticals, whenever they have 90 degrees, sin will be changed into cos. So that's why sin alpha is equals to sin 90 minus beta is becomes cos beta. That means sin alpha value is, is equal to cos beta so therefore cos beta is equal to how much it is also a by b okay next according to identity property already we have sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is equal to what so like from this one shall I write cos square alpha is equal to 1 minus sin square alpha and cos alpha is equal to under root of 1 minus sin square alpha. Okay. Hmm. Already we have sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is equal to 1. From this one, cos square alpha is equal to 1 minus sin square alpha. Cos alpha is equal to square root of 1 minus sin square alpha. From this one, square root of 1 minus already we have sin alpha is equal to much a baby. Okay. So a by b whole square becomes a square by b square it is equals to root of so taking it b square is the LCM. b square into 1 is equal to b square so b square minus a square so therefore cos alpha is equal to root of b square minus a square is divided by the square root of b square value is equal to b so same like that now sin beta value is also equal to so root of b square minus a square by b okay See students, here I am finding sin alpha value is equal to already given a by b, cos beta a by b, and cos alpha root of b squared minus a squared by b, sin beta is equal to root of b squared minus a squared by b. According to problem, here asking, find the value of sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta. Okay. So therefore, now sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha into sin beta. We have to find this value. It is equal to sin alpha is equal to a by b. Substituting here a by b into cos beta value is same a by b minus cos alpha is equal to root of b square minus a square by b. Okay, and sin beta value is also same root of b square minus a square by b. Okay, simplified. It is equal to a into a is equal to a square by b into b is equal to b square minus the under root of b square minus a square into under root of b square minus a square becomes b square minus a square by b into b is equal to b square now taking LCM again so it is equal to the LCM is equal to b square okay next simplification a square minus of okay minus of b square and then here minus in the minus it becomes plus so plus a square this is equals. Final answer is 
S K plus S K is equal to two S K. So two S K plus B K by B K. Okay, it's clear. So therefore, the sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta value is equal to how much? Two S K plus B K by B K is our required answer. Okay. Okay, students, it's very very important for four marks. Okay, see here the second problem is to prove that tan theta plus sec theta minus one by tan theta minus sec theta plus one is, is equal to one plus sin theta by cos theta. Okay, so for solving this problem, okay, already we have the basic formula. According to identities, we have. Secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to how much? One. So therefore, secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one. Okay. Applying here this formula. Okay. It's very simple. So instead of one, instead of one, you can write this basic formula. Okay. Then you get tan theta plus sec theta minus one. One means secant square theta minus tan square theta. Right. The secant square theta minus tan square theta four by. Don't change the denominator part. Write down as it is. So therefore, tan theta minus sec theta and plus one. It is equal to. Okay. So next step, tan theta plus sec theta minus. See here. Now it is in the form of a square minus b square. Yes. What is the formula for a square minus b square? So a square minus b square is equal to. A plus B into A minus B. Okay, apply right here. So therefore, secant theta plus tan theta into next secant theta minus tan theta. So four by. Or I don't denominate as this. So tan theta minus sec theta and plus one. Okay. See here, which is the common in these two section? Secant theta plus tan theta is the common. Okay, take note of it. So common is secant theta plus Tan theta. Okay, it's clear. Next, so if you take this one is common. Here we have one. I don't one. Next, multiplication with minus sign. Minus of secant theta. So minus secant theta. Minus in minus it becomes plus. So plus tan theta. So four by the denominator part is tan theta minus sec theta and plus one. See students. One minus sec theta plus tan theta. One minus sec theta plus tan theta. Similar terms. The similar terms are tan theta. Okay. Next one. It is equal to. Shall I write sec theta is equal to one by cos theta? Yes. One by cos theta. And uh, again, shall I write tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta? So write down sin theta by cos theta. Okay. It's very simple. Take the LCM. So LCM is equal to cos theta. Okay. If you taking L C cos theta, then the remaining term is one. So one plus sine theta. C straight side, other the other side, other the other side. So one plus sine theta by cos theta. Hence the other side is two. Okay. Okay. Next third third term. Fine. If Sin alpha plus cosec alpha is equal to two. Then find the value of sin to the power of n alpha plus cosec to the power of n alpha for all n belongs to j integers. Okay. So here given, so given that sin alpha plus cosec alpha is equal to how much two? I know two. Okay. Yesterday already we learned the reciprocals. What is the reciprocal of sin alpha cos alpha? That means sin alpha into cos alpha is equal to how much? One. Okay. So shall I write cos alpha is equal to one by sin alpha? Is it right? So I don't care. Sin alpha plus one by sin alpha is equal to two. Next taking LCM two. So next taking LCM sin alpha. So here the LCM is sin alpha. Sin alpha into sin alpha, sin square alpha. 
So sine square alpha and plus 1 is z plus 2, 2. Next, doing cross multiplication, you get sine square alpha. 2 into sine alpha, how much? 2 sine alpha. Take into let us sign. This becomes minus 2 sine alpha and plus 1 is, is equals to 0. See here, it is in the form of a minus b whole square. Yes. So that's why to write sine alpha minus 1 whole square is equals to 0. Okay. So shall I write here sine alpha minus 1? Taking this square into RJ set, root 0 is equal to 0. So I know 0. Now, what is the value of sin alpha? Sin alpha is equal to 1. Okay. Now, for second half, we have to find for second half. For second half is, is nothing but 1 by sin alpha. So, 1 by sin alpha means 1 by 1. 1 by 1 is nothing but 1. So, here I am getting two values. Sin alpha is equal to 1 and for second half is also 1. Okay. And next, here I ask find the value of sin to the power of o and alpha plus cosecant to the power of o and alpha it is equal to already we have sin alpha is equal to 1 so 1 to the power of n and plus again 1 to the power of n 1 power n how much 1 only so that's where it is equal to 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 is equal to how much 2 yes our required answer is 2 therefore sin to the power of n alpha plus cosecant to the power of n alpha value is also to the answer. Next, fourth problem. Here, if A comma, capital A comma, B comma, C comma, D are cyclic coordinate, then prove that first one, sin A minus sin C is equal to sin D minus sin D. And the second problem, second one is cos A plus cos B plus cos C plus cos D is equal to 0. See students, what is the meaning of cyclic coordinator? Cyclic coordinator means so A coordinate, okay? A coordinator is inscribed in a circle. Inscribed in a circle, then it is called a cyclic coordinator, okay? So, see here. Okay. A, B, C, okay? It is a coordinator. So, a coordinator is inscribed in a circle. If it is inscribed in a circle, then it is called a cyclic coordinator. Okay. So, property. What is the property of a cyclic coordinator? So, the sum of opposite angles. The sum of opposite angles. What is the opposite angle of a C? So, that's why angle A plus angle C is equal to how much? 180 degrees. Same like that. So, B. The opposite side of angle this, this one is angle B plus angle D is also 180 degrees. It is a basic concept. By using this concept, you can solve this problem very easily. Okay. So first one, what are the first concept? We have the property angle A plus angle C is equal to so much 180 degrees. Okay. So first taking the C into RHS. So A is equal to 180 minus C. Next, applying on both sides, sine function. Applying sine function on both sides. Okay. Then it is becomes sine A is equal to sine of 180 minus C. According to all silver drugs, 180 minus theta is now second coordinate. So sine 180 minus C is becomes sine C. So therefore, sin A is equal to sin C. Next, you are taking the sin C into LHS sign. So, sin A minus sin C is equal to 0. Let us consider equation number 1. Okay. Next, apply the second property. Now, our second property is angle B plus angle D is equal to so much 180 degrees. The same concept. Taking this B into R D is equal to 180 minus B. Again applying on both sides, sine function. So sine D is equal to sine of 180 minus B. Okay. So next sine D is equal to sine B. Next taking sine B into L H S. So sine D minus sine B is, is equal to 0. Let us consider equation number 2. Okay. 
See students, for example, here I am taking x value 0, y value is also 0. That means both are equal. So that means x is equal to y. This is right. Same concept you can apply here. From this equation number 1, sin a minus sin c value 0. Sin d minus sin b value is also 0. That means from equation number 92, equation number 92, you get both are equal. That means sin a minus sin c is, is equal to sin d and minus sin d. Okay, so both are equal. First one is 2. Okay, yes, students, you can solve the second problem by using the same concept. Okay. Okay, next fifth problem. So to prove that 1 plus cot theta minus cosecant theta into 1 plus tan theta plus secant theta is equals to 2. Okay. See here. 1 plus cot theta. Shall I write this cot theta as cos theta by sin theta? So write down cos theta by sin theta minus. Shall I write cosec theta is equals to 1 by sin theta? So 1 by sin theta into same like that. 1 plus or write down tan theta is equals to sin theta by cos theta plus sec theta is equals to 1 by cos theta. Okay. Now we have to prove that this total value is equals to 2. Okay. Taking LCM. Here the LCM is sin theta. 1 into sin theta is equals to sin theta plus next cos theta minus 1. Okay, close. Into here the LCM is cos theta. So cos theta into 1 cos theta and plus sin theta plus 1. Okay. Next. See students. We have to assume that the sin theta plus cos theta is equal to some a small a. You have to consider this small a. And this minus one as, one as some b. Same like that. It is the sum a one as b. Then it is becomes a minus b into a plus b. Okay. Already we have a minus b into a plus b formula is equal to a square minus b square. Okay. So sin theta plus cos theta into sin theta plus cos theta becomes sin theta plus cos theta whole square and minus b square means 1 square equals to 1. But denominator part, one equation of denominator part. Sin theta into cos theta, sin theta into cos theta. That's clear. Next it is equal to. Now it is in the form of a plus b whole square exponent. So a plus b whole square formula. So sin theta plus cos theta whole square is equal to sin square theta plus cos square theta and plus 2 sin theta into cos theta minus 1 whole by so sin theta into cos theta. Okay, see here. All of we, we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta how much 1. So this value 1 plus 1 and this is a minus 1. Both the terms are cancelled. And uh, I am getting 2 sin theta into cos theta 4 by so sin theta into cos theta. Okay. Similar terms are cancelled. Sin theta sin theta, cos theta cos theta cancelled. So therefore, I am getting 2 is the RHS value. Okay. Hence, RHS value is 2.